All right, I decided to uh, build a drive shaft safety loop for Frankie. And what I did was I went underneath the car and I, I got the clearance where I wanted to put it near the front of the, uh, I want to put one in the front. I might put one in the back also in case it drops the universal joint by the rear end. But uh, where I wanted to put it, I measured across the drive shaft plus some clearance, which gave me five inches. And then from a cross member on the floor frame down, giving me clearance underneath the drive shaft was eight and a quarter. And then I was going to have a three inch ear on, on either side. Okay? So, what I did was, over here, I took some one eighth which I think will be, it'll be, it'll be sufficient in case it throws the drive shaft. I mean, it'll just come down and slam into it. It's not like it's going really far. It's only going to, I think I gave it maybe an inch and a quarter clearance. So if it comes down, this should keep it at least from hitting the ground, digging into the ground and maybe even flipping the car. So I bent, I found something five inches around. I didn't use that piece of wood, but what I did find was on my floor jack, that section there, that's five inches across, so I bent it around that. And that's what gave me this. And then from here to here, on both sides, I went eight and a quarter, and then I measured over three, and now I'm going to cut it this one, and I'm going to cut that one off at three. Then I'm going to uh, put some holes in here, mounting holes, and then I'll stick this underneath the car, mark where the holes are going to be, then drill the floor, or the, drill the uh, cross member, rather, uh, paint it up, and then uh, we'll bolt it in. And I'll have uh, a dry shaft a safety loop for, the, for Frankie. I, I was really concerned because I bought... I should have just gone to the junkyard and got a Ford uh, small front yoke. But I found one online on eBay and I bought it. And when I got it, I really didn't care for the quality. It was made in China. Who knows what, you know, what kind of torque it will withstand. And I didn't like how it was machined. It had really uh, sharp edges, not radius corners. And that's a good sign of something that's going to split under under pressure so um, I'm gonna to have to baby it for a little bit we'll see and maybe I'll just go to the junkyard and get me a small Ford tranny yoke stick it in there because the other end the rear end um, of the drive shaft that's all Lincoln and that is just so overbuilt for what this car is that Lincoln was 6,500 pounds. This thing probably weighs maybe 2,300 pounds. So I think I think it'll be okay. The rear, the one in the back, but I at least wanted to get one on the front. So that's what I'm doing right now. And there it is. Got the holes drilled. I got them drilled through the through the floor. Only problem is I don't have any bolts to uh, to mount it. I mean, I got three eighths that are long enough, but I wanted to use uh, five sixteenths because I'm going through one inch, uh, one inch square tubing is the cross piece under the floor. I don't want to go too wide on that. I suppose it would work, but uh, I think I'm just going to hold off. I'm going to go paint it. And then uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll get some bolts and uh, we'll mount it. And that just that'll just sit right up underneath the car. In fact, I could probably just show you. Yeah, I don't know if you can make it out, but there I'm holding it up against the cross member. And there's the drive shaft, and that's. And it'll be like that. And that goes to the rear axle down there. And this end, here's the end of the transmission right there. 
So it's only back a little bit. There's not going to be a lot of movement here at this point up and down with the uh, suspension. So they, there'll be plenty of room. I believe there'll be plenty of room underneath that drive shaft and that. If not, I can always make spacers and drop it down to that if I had to. I just didn't want to get too low to have it tear off if I went over a bump or something. You know, I just wanted to want to make sure everything is high and high enough for cl ground clearance. But uh, that's it. I just need a couple of bolts and I'll go paint it and we'll put this guy on. Cool. Okay, and there it is. Comes through the one inch square tubing and then the floor above bends over comes down and around back up and old bolts over again to the other piece and there's the loop it's got plenty of room at this point the drive shaft's not going to go up and down of course that's got to be an inch and a quarter there you know so that's it I should help hold that in in case that that Chinese joint ever lets go. And down at that end is the uh, right there. That's the double uh, universal joint out of the Lincoln. Oh wait a minute, no, that's no, that one doesn't have the double joint. This is the other drive shaft. I'm sorry. It's got a single joint, but it's a plate. There's a, a flange. There's a flange that goes right to the uh, rear end then there's a the other the other mating flange and then the universal joint and then the drive shaft on this one that's but that's designed for a much heavier car so I'm, I'm not too worried about that one letting go as I was this yoke here where they machined where they machined it right here where the shaft goes into the transmission there's no radius right in the corner that's not a good thing that's a good place for it to split but as long as I don't really try to kill it uh, it should last a little bit but if I was smart I'd get the uh, I'd get an actual Ford part so anyways back to the safety loop there it is and it's in cool